Good evening there, everybody. What is happening? Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful day today. So, I'm going to be watching this segment of Speak for Yourself. I really don't watch this show an extreme amount, but I do like this segment. I actually liked it when they had Jason Whitlock on here because I actually don't mind Jason Whitlock. I don't think that he is the worst commentator in the world. I actually do agree with a certain amount of his points, but unfortunately, he's not on there anymore. But just in case, I might review some of their old videos as well if I find any of them interesting. But anyways, Marcellus Wiley still remains on this show. And they got this new man on here that I believe is recently new ever since Jason Willock's firing. Uh, I don't know how long he's been on there. But his name is Acho. Uh, that's the man that you see on the far right here. Uh, and they're going to be talking about Philip Rivers today. These three gentlemen. For those of you that don't know who Philip Rivers was, Philip Rivers was a quarterback for the National Football League. He played the majority of his career for the San Diego slash LA Chargers. Uh, and then for the last season of his career, which was the most current season, he played quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, where he kind of refreshed them and made the playoffs with them. But unfortunately, I believe they lost in the first round. Well, the question is about Philip Rivers, because he did have a pretty stellar career. The question about Philip Rivers, and really about a lot of players in the NFL, and he's not the only quarterback from even his same draft class that is, you know, questionably a Hall of Famer or questionably not a Hall of Famer. But that's really the question right now because Philip Rivers decided to retire this most recent season, you know, with his final season. Uh, with that being with the Indianapolis Colts, he decided to call it a career, I believe, after 17 seasons. And the question is about Philip Rivers, is he a Hall of Famer? And I thought that we would talk about it. I think that that's a very interesting conversation. And I think that this was the best video to review. So let's get into it. Should Philip Rivers be a Hall of Famer? Yes. 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 Um, let me first talk. Should Philip Rivers be a Hall of Famer? Yes. 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 Um, let me first talk about the person that has a Hall of Fame character and a Hall of Fame heart. Since I know <laughs> Philip Rivers and he played for my organization in the San Diego slash L.A. Chargers. Um, respect to Philip Rivers. I always knew that when he walked into a room that Philip Rivers will always be a leader in that same room. Um, not just by tone, not just by words and expression, but by example. So Hall of Fame character, as the Hall of Fame voters like to see. Aww. Shut up. I <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, let me wax poetic on Philip Rivers because, you know, when you cool with somebody, you don't tell them how much you love them. Uh, I'm not going to be like you. I'm going to give him his roses, not slap them out of his hand as soon as we try to hand them to him. Fifth most passing yards in NFL history. Sometimes y'all can hear these nuggets and be like, so what? Fifth most. Well, let's just be real. The four players ahead of him, either in the Hall of Fame, Brett Favre, or going to be there when they're eligible. Drew Brees, Tom Brady, or Peyton Manning. So that's some great... You know... One of my friends, when we were talking about Eli Manning and Matt Ryan, we were also talking about the amount of passing yards that they have. Because uh, if you take a look at Eli Manning, there's a certain amount of people that argue that he should not be in the Hall of Fame or that he should not get in. And most likely he is going to get in because of those two Super Bowl wins that he had over Tom Brady. He had two great Super Bowl runs. And on top of that, when it comes down to it, he is a Manning, and I'm not the only one to say that. That's not some new rev you know, revolutionary thing I just said, but when you're a Manning, you know, the name tracks down in the history of the NFL. You know, it attracts a big amount of weight, so it is what it is. Uh, but when it comes down to it, when I take a look at Philip Rivers' career, he's pretty much in that same area as Eli Manning and Matt Ryan. And at first, when I really took a look at this conversation, I thought that Philip Rivers should have been a Hall of Famer. But then my friend brought up something that was very interesting to me. He said, well, if you think that Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, you also eventually have to put Matt Ryan in there. Because, <laughs> to be honest with you, I've never really been that high on Matt Ryan, but that's because I watched him for uh, pretty much you know the past several years. And I've never been overly impressed with Matt Ryan. I thought he always underwhelmed with the talent that he had around him. And that's not saying that he always had great talent around him, but even the years where he did have great talent around him, he still really wasn't able to do as much as he should have been able to do with it. So it is what it is. But that being said, basically what Philip Rivers is, he's the Matt Ryan of the AFC. Some would debate a better version, but even Matt Ryan has a Super Bowl appearance, has an MVP, and has an All-Pro team mention. 
Philip Rivers doesn't have any of those. <laughs> so it is what it is. Uh, in my opinion, is Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer? I would have to say no. I don't think that he is a Hall of Famer. If he were to make the Hall of Fame one day, I would understand. But when it comes down to would I put him in my Hall of Fame? No, probably not. Company. Fifth most passing touchdowns in NFL history. Once again, Brett Favre, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Movie night. I've been watching the stove. Tell me something you don't know. With your farmer's policy, you for guaranteed replacement cost, your home can be rebuilt regardless of your limits. That's really something. Get a whole lot of something with Farmer's Policy Perks. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's some good company. One of 14 quarterbacks in NFL history to make eight Pro Bowls. Why do you bring up eight Pro Bowls, Marcellus? Because that means you dominated your era. That means you were thought... And I do think that the eight Pro Bowls is the best argument that you have when it comes to Phillip Rivers. Because Phillip Rivers was in the AFC, and he's been playing for quite a while. So that means that he was able to make eight Pro Bowls with Tom Brady mainly being in there, with Big Ben Roethlisberger mainly being in there, with Peyton Manning mainly being in there, and then a little bit later on Patrick Mahomes and maybe even a couple of other quarterbacks that I'm not thinking about at the moment. So Philip Rivers certainly hasn't been able to, you know, do his career at least a certain amount of justice. So it is what it is. But even with that, like I said, once again, Philip Rivers, to me, is still in that same category as a Matt Ryan and as an Eli Manning. You know, are they borderline great quarterbacks? Yeah, they're borderline great quarterbacks. But all-time great quarterbacks? No, I would not say all-time great quarterbacks. And you can debate who the greatest quarterback is of those three quarterbacks. Out of highly and favorably during your playing time. And if you talk about the other 13 guys... Hall of Famers, nine of them already. And the other ones are the same ones that are going to be eligible, including Aaron Rodgers. So by the numbers, by the fact that him dominating his era and being one of the top premier quarterbacks while he played, oh, yeah, that'll get him in. Oh, let me just throw in one more nugget, y'all. This is a little cute one right here. Check this out. He never missed a game in 15 seasons as a starter. Oh, my God. Talk about the greatest ability is availability by all levels. With the heart. Sure, he had longevity, but when it comes down to it, that actually might be a point against you. And that might be overall, you know, why his statistics were so high up there. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, is Philip Rivers, you know, are his statistics really more impressive than that of Aaron Rodgers? Because, you know, he, he ended up getting hurt less than him. Now, if you want to point to some other quarterbacks, like a Tom Brady, maybe even a Drew Brees, it'd be a little bit understandable because they've been doing it for, you know, 20 years. And Philip Rivers, of course, you know, he did it for 17 seasons, but Drew Brees and Tom Brady also had some success in the playoffs. <laughs> Philip Rivers overall, uh, he really did not have that great amount of success in the playoffs. Not only that, but Drew Brees and Tom Brady have broken a certain amount of records. Philip Rivers, I can't say that he's done that. So it is what it is. The character. <laughs> He's your man. He is Philip Rivers. <laughs> uh, yo, if you make the Hall of Fame based on character, as sorry as I was, I would have a gold jacket. Okay, so well, ask T.O. Not... about that. <laughs> it hurt T.O. Let me... Uh... Can... Well, I do believe that it did hurt T.O., but we all know that T.O. deserved to be a first battle Hall of Famer, at least in my opinion. Uh, you know, character can certainly hurt you a little bit. But if we're talking about the question overall about, you know, should Philip Rivers get into the Hall of Fame? In my opinion, he shouldn't. It but it hurt. can't help. Let me but go it can't here. Help. Well, let's see. Let me go here. I Marcellus, yes, sir. it's called the Hall of Fame. Not the Hall of Healthy. Not the Hall <laughs> of Endurance. Not the Hall of Playing a Long Time. The Hall of Fame. Let's go. I got a lot of stats. Let's go. But I only got to give you one. Um, there are five quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame that don't have a Super Bowl. I'm going to say this again so y'all can digest it. Five quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame that don't have a Super Bowl. All five of those quarterbacks were first-team All-Pros at some point in time. Philip and that is a very good point. Uh, it'd be a little bit different if Philip Rivers, at least at one point in time, made even a second-team All-Pro. But <laughs> the man never even made a first-team all or He never made a first-team All-Pro. He never made a second-team All-Pro. So it is what it is. Rivers, never first team All-Pro. Philip Rivers, never second team All-Pro. Now I understand this. 
There's a time and place for everything. A time oh, to rejoice, a time to mourn, a time to celebrate, a time to cry. This might not necessarily be the time, but the producers put it in the script, and I have to answer honestly because I get paid to do a job. Philip Rivers should not be a Hall of Famer. It's not because Philip Rivers was not very good. It's not. Philip Rivers, you can even say, was borderline great, just like Matt Ryan, just like Eli Manning. But when I take a look at those quarterbacks, to me, do they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Eh, you could have a debate, but mm, if I had to say so, probably not. Because Philip Rivers did not play for a long time, but the biggest thing working in Philip Rivers credit and to Philip Rivers credit is longevity. But what we really talking about, does that get you in the Hall of Fame, longevity, or does excellence get you into the Hall of Fame? So when I look at it, Philip Rivers was never a top three quarterback while playing because he was playing with Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger early in his career. Then towards the end of his career, still Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, throw Russell Wilson in the mix. The very end of his career, throw Patrick Mahomes in the mix. I ain't even mentioned Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers. So and I think that's a very good point. Acho, and I don't usually agree with his points, he's pretty much killing this argument. <laughs> he pretty much uh, is killing Marcel's Wiley in this argument right now. Um, I pretty much agree with everything that he's saying. Philip Rivers was never even a top three quarterback while he was playing. Now that alone isn't an indictment because he's played with some of the best quarterbacks of all time. But if your primary argument, if the crux of your argument was he played for a long time, he was really healthy, he's a great guy... That's not enough to get you into the Hall of Fame. Just because you're not in the Hall of Fame isn't a slight. Not taking anything away from Philip Rivers. I'm just well, Philip Rivers, once again, does not have the worst amount of statistics. When you take a look at his touchdown, you know, his touchdowns, he has a great amount of touchdowns. He has a great amount of passing yards. But is that, you know, some people would say that that's enough to get you into the Hall of Fame. And he had, did have eight Pro Bowl mentions. So maybe to some of you guys, that's enough for him to get into the Hall of Fame. If he does get into the Hall of Fame, he certainly is in first ballot. But when it comes down to it, I'm just not sure if I can put him in that same conversation with some others because it's not necessarily like he was putting up numbers like a Drew Brees or, <laughs> you know, an Aaron Rodgers or something like that. So it is what it is. It's not going to add Hall of Fame to Philip Rivers' legacy. Well, let me, let me correct it just a tad bit. Please. Excellence and longevity together. A longevity of excellence Correct. is how you achieve... That's very fair to say. ...the yes, Hall sir. of Fame. So you could be excellent and and not achieve the Hall of Fame because you didn't do excellent long Absolutely. enough. And you could have longevity, but you weren't excellent enough during that longevity to be considered a Hall of Famer. So I, I got to side with you on this one, though, Acho. I don't believe he has enough honors to to actually legitimize his entry into the hall. Now, he might be one of those guys that is always considered, and, and it's based around those watered-down argument points that, Marcellus, you put out oh, there. And, there, and I'm going to tell you, facts, facts, facts let me just, water, let me just tell you why they're watered down. The reason why they're watered down is because you threw out names of guys that had uh, player of the years, you know, guys that were offensive MVPs, they had other accolades to go with the statistical lines that you were throwing <laughs> out there. And that that's a very fair point. You know, when you take a look at other quarterbacks that did not win the Super Bowl or even make a Super Bowl that are in the Hall of Fame, they at least had a first-team All-Pro or they had an MVP. When you take a look at certain quarterbacks like Warren Moon and Dan Fouts, you know, now I, I've been on record as saying that Warren Moon, when I usually take a look at him on lists, I find him to be the second most overrated quarterback of all time, right behind Aaron Rodgers. But when it comes down to it, uh, you know, when when it comes down to it, Warren Moon, at least one thing I can say about him, even though basically I think he even had <laughs> a, a worse amount of playoff success than even Phillip Rivers had. But when it comes down to it, one thing I can say about Warren Moon is that uh, he at least won an MVP and made an all-team pro or made an all-pro team. But it is what it is. You know, Philip Rivers, he never did that. He's a guy to where I think he had a great amount of longevity. He stayed healthy through a good amount of his career. Did not show up a lot of the times in the big moments in the playoffs. His statistics would drop pretty decently when it came down to it. Uh, he was just not a guy that was known for coming up big in his career. Well, you know, no, MVP I don't know. Drew Brees ain't won no MVP. 
Okay, but he... Well, Drew Brees didn't win an MVP, but Drew Brees, with the records that he was breaking, <laughs> was overall... Uh, yes, he was going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Once again, that, that, that's why I brought up that point. Phillip Rivers, he had decent statistics, but it's not like he was breaking records. Drew Brees was going to have to get in because at one point in time, he had the most amount of passing yards ever. But on top of that, I believe he has two Offensive Player of the Year awards. He has 14 Pro Bowl mentions or somewhere around there. He has a Super Bowl win and a Super Bowl MVP, and he had more playoff success than Phillip Rivers, than a Matt Ryan, people like that. And he also made a first-team All-Pro, I believe. So Drew Brees is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. He's got a Super Bowl. Okay, now so we when, you to throw out, when you throw out I, guys I that have hardware, you got to throw out... And on top of that, Drew Brees, at least in certain seasons, you certainly could argue was one of the top two quarterbacks in the league. Phillip Rivers... And that's a good point that Acho brought up. I'm not sure if he's ever even been in the top three. If I can't, if I can't do it with an MVP award, if I'm Russell Wilson, if I'm Drew Brees, and I haven't won it, well, what do you use? You have to leverage a Super Bowl. Hmm. Uh, Eli Manning, who didn't, or he did not have a better career than uh, than than Philip Rivers, will go into the NFL Hall of Fame. Why? Because he has an MVP award in the biggest game of the National Football League season. That's fair. In my opinion, though, he shouldn't make the Hall of Fame. We'll see if he does. Uh, I believe that he will because he is a Manning. And once again, he did, you know, as he just said, whoever this man's name is, uh, when it comes down to it, uh, you know, he has a couple of Super Bowl MVPs, I believe, and he has two Super Bowls, especially two Super Bowl wins over Tom Brady. He's probably going to get in. But Philip Rivers, I'm not so sure. And he won it twice. So as much as Philip Rivers has accomplished, he does not have enough singular excellence moments in his career to, to really validate him getting in. I would agree. Man, stop. Um, I don't know how I should cut y'all. Um, look, y'all saying longevity of excellence, excellence with longevity. Y'all just playing around being wordsmiths right now. I'm going to tell you that you don't always need longevity, and you don't always see it with excellence. Um, I'm going to bring up some names. Please, everybody I'm going to talk about is better than me in football. So if y'all get mad at me, y'all just in y'all feelings. Shout out to Sean Watson. Here's the thing. Kurt Warner. I mean, longevity of excellent years did he have? Super Bowl. Uh, oh, I mean, Super no, Bowl. I, I want to put... I'm Here's the problem. And <laughs> I get the point that he's trying to make. But when it comes down to here, here's the thing that Marcel Wiley is missing. Every quarterback that he's bringing up has some sort of achievement. Uh, you know, uh, Philip Rivers doesn't really have any achievements in his career besides longevity and overall a longevity amount of stats and, you know, having eight Pro Bowl selections. Is that enough to make you into the Hall of Fame? Now, Kurt Warner, who, in my opinion, has been one of the more underrated quarterbacks in history, I believe he was only a four-time Pro Bowler throughout his career. So people will just look at that and they'll be confused on why he made the Hall of Fame. But Kurt Warner also went to three Super Bowls, I believe. He won one Super Bowl, and he also won two MVPs, I believe. So a certain amount of people forget that. So you can't leave that out. Y'all in where I want y'all to go to. And maybe he has a Super Bowl MVP. I'm actually not sure about that. Go to the how many MVP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. And then go Terrell Davis, different position, but how many years? Um, so this longevity conversation, there is a door to enter the Hall of Fame that it's not just you balled out for 5, 10, 15 years. Let's just start there. Because I wanted y'all to respond like you did and start talking Super okay, Bowls. Sure. Let's talk about guys who've never advanced to a Super Bowl. Let's talk about... Dan Marino, I mean, Dan Farris and Warren Moon. Let's talk about the... And those are the quarterbacks that Phillip Rivers is mainly going to be compared to, but I can't even put Phillip Rivers in their category because even Warren Moon and Dan Fouts for their day were able to make an all-team or an all-pro team and were able to win an MVP. Now, in my opinion, Dan Fouts was a little bit greater than Warren Moon. A certain amount of people would disagree, <laughs> but it is what it is. Warren Moon, once again, in my opinion, has been one of the more overrated quarterbacks in the NFL's history. But it is what it is. Anyways, when it comes down to it, even Warren Moon, even though he never made it out of the second round from what I believe in, had a record of like 3-8 and eight or 3-9 and nine in the playoffs when it comes down to it. And Phillip Rivers does have a better playoff record than that. And one thing I will say about Phillip Rivers is that even he at least made an AFC championship. So Warren Moon and Phillip Rivers, even though I have Warren Moon ahead of Phillip Rivers, they're not extremely far apart. 
But when it comes down to it, uh, now in terms of talent, of course, people might say Warren Moon is ahead of him. I'm talking about in terms of accomplishments. So it is what it is. But when it comes down to it, and of course, Warren Moon's numbers for his day, some people would say it was greater. But that really didn't last for a super duper long time. And really, when you take a look at his numbers, even for the day, besides passing yards in a couple of seasons, the rest of his numbers really were not all that elite. But it is what it is. But when it comes down to the overall, uh, Warren Moon, I even have to put him ahead of Phillip Rivers. He he even has to be in a different league because he at least won an MVP. He at least went to an all-pro team. Phillip Rivers never even went second all-pro. Ones who never won a Super Bowl. Dan Fouts, Warren Moon, Jim Kelly, Dan Marino. Now, why do I bring those guys up? Because you can't just sit there and leverage you. And Jim Kelly, I'd have to do a little bit more research on him, but the thing is with Jim Kelly, he at least made four Super Bowls. You know, so it is what it is. You just said you have to leverage a Super Bowl. I quote you, LeVar. You don't or have, have to. something else I, I, connected I, 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 to it. I, I, you won't let me go because you probably don't like where I'm going. No, Here's the thing. Telling me so, what's in my mouth. Well, I tell well, you what came out of my mouth? I mean, I'm talking about. Tell me what came out of my mouth. Quarterbacks that had so. losing records in playoffs: Dan Marino, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. So I say all that to say this: Philip Rivers is going to beat them just because everywhere that they touch. He has his name in that ballot box. You can't leverage him out of a conversation because of just Super Bowls, because then you got to start going into your own Hall of Fame and taking some guys out. I really have to take a look at Jim Kelly's career, uh, because when I just take a look at it, at least from, you know, looking on the surface, from what I hear about him, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that he made the Hall of Fame, to be quite honest with you. But I'd have to, uh, I'd have to look at that. I heard that from a couple people that... We're back during those times that his numbers were pretty phenomenal for the day. Once again, I'd have to look up into that, but, you know. So here's the last thing that I always look at this is. This is the context I use. If I'm better than the worst one in there. Shopping with Google helps you find whatever you're looking for. Like workout shirts, at home apps. I'm in there. And it's just that simple. But the question is, is Philip Rivers better than the worst one in there? Because the worst one in there to me, and maybe you can debate is Jim Kelly, maybe. Um, you know, I'd, I'd have to really look through that. Uh, he certainly isn't greater than Dan Marino. He certainly, in my opinion, is not better than Dan Fouts. Uh, and in my opinion, he probably wouldn't be over Warren Moon. And Jim Kelly, I don't know if I can even put him over Jim Kelly, because at least Jim Kelly led his teams to four Super Bowls. And I think he at least made like five Pro Bowls. So maybe that one's competitive, maybe. <laughs> but Jim Kelly, I believe, was at least putting up, uh, you know, pretty decent numbers for his day. So, I don't know. Phillip Rivers is better than quarterbacks in there. So, guess what? Unless you want to kick somebody out, you got to let Phillip Rivers in. Mm -hmm. That's loosely Marcellus, you are, you're waxing poetically. I'm just giving you numbers. How is this wax? <laughs> here's how. Here's how. Here's how. Again, and I'm going to break it down even deeper because I just, I just I, skimmed I, I, over it the first time. I can tell. Marcellus is talking about the five quarterbacks, that's who he keeps pointing to that haven't won Super Bowls. Because that's really the only place Phillip Rivers can dance. The only company Phillip Rivers can get, get into is the company of those that didn't win Super Bowls. Because the guys that won Super Bowls, they in, they won Super Bowls. Okay, but so Phillip Rivers, come into this conversation. Coming into the combo with guys who Well, there's some quarterbacks overall that won Super Bowls that I think Phillip Rivers is in the same conversation with. He's in the same conversation with Eli Manning, in my opinion. Won Super Bowls. You look at Dan Fouts, two-time first-team uh, 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 all pro. You look I at it was Jim three, Kelly, one time first team All Pro. Oh, you look wow. at Dan Marino, three time first team All Pro. You look at Warren yeah. Moon, first team All Pro. Frank Tarkenton, first and team nine, All Pro, and nine Pro Bowls. And nine Pro, but I don't want to go there because Philip Rivers can dance. Philip Rivers Pro got Bowls. eight Pro Bowls. Exactly. I don't, don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Philip Rivers can dance hey, in the Pro Bowl but conversation. But nine is one more than eight. But Frank Tarkenton, overall, when it comes down to it, <laughs> yeah, but he don't want to bring that up because overall, I understand Acho's point. But what you really should bring up is that Fran Tarkenton, I believe, has an MVP. That's another quarterback, by the way, who's over Warren Moon that I usually see ranked below Warren Moon. How the hell does Warren Moon get ranked so high in list? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to know. I'm not going there. Come well, on. Warren Moon is not above Kurt Warner. He ain't above Fran Tarkenton. He's not above Dan Fouts. He ain't above any of those quarterbacks, as far as I'm concerned. Tell us, you got to know. Say, I'm going to come to the Pro Bowl. Phillip Rivers has to say, hey. Let me come into this all-pro party. He's going to say he's going to show up with his invitation for this all-pro party, and they're going to kick him out because he ain't got no all-pros. 
to his name. The biggest individual accolade Philip Rivers has is comeback player of the year. That's it. That's the biggest individual accolade Philip Rivers has. And Outside that's the of that, problem, he went to uh, the Joe. AFC what's, what's, uh, game. What's Drew Brees' biggest the problem? Philip, Drew Dan Brees Marino. Is, what's Drew? Well, this is the problem. Drew Brees has a decent amount of more accomplishments. And it's not, once again, it'd be maybe different if Philip Rivers was the one that was breaking all these records. Then maybe you could argue that he goes into the Hall of Fame. But he's not. He's not breaking any records with his statistics. He has a two to one touchdown to interception ratio. A lot of his statistics are pretty I'm not gonna I don't wanna say pedestrian, but when it comes down to it, you know, they're good, but they they don't look, you know, they're not blowing anyone out of the water, especially in the playoffs. He had a very little amount of playoff success. He never made an all pro team. He never had an MVP. He never had an offensive player of the year. He never was even in the top three. Some would even debate top four quarterbacks <laughs> during his time. I mean, it is what it is. I understand Acho's point completely. He doesn't have a Super Bowl. He doesn't have a Super Bowl MVP. He doesn't have a Super Bowl appearance. What he does have is an AFC Championship appearance once in his career. But besides that, he really don't have much. Brees is biggest. Uh, at, at a minimum, Drew Brees is leaving first. Oh, he's had instable. offensive player of the year. Drew Brees has had Offensive Player of the Year before. Yeah, but they are big dog. Like, well, well, then I give you eight Pro Bowls. Like, y'all trying to slight the Pro Bowl to win a conversation. No, no. When, he look, have, if you give me a year, if you give me an error, no Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Roethlisberger, A-Rod, and Drew Brees, and you still make the Pro Bowl with those dudes already locked in by name, value, and performance? That, how is that a slight? That's actually a compliment to Drew. And I do overall think that that is the best case for Phillip Rivers. The man made eight Pro Bowls. Matt Ryan, who you could debate is greater than Phillip Rivers, uh, you know, he only has four Pro Bowls. And Phillip Rivers is in a time where Big Ben Roethlisberger was around, Tom Brady, Pate Manning, and a couple of others that I'm probably not even mentioning. So that's his best argument. But besides that, um, <laughs> I don't know. Brees. I'm going against all these greats, and I'm still finding a way to make eight of the Pro Bowls. Y'all need to come up with something better Tell than that. You haven't Drew Drew told me on this no, show before. No. We know out of everything, a Pro Bowl is a popularity contest. You know the fourth button uh, uh, this year for the Colts. No, no. Don't. Well, it can be a little bit of a popularity contest. I understand where Otto is coming from, but was Phillip Rivers really on a franchise, or was he really, <laughs> you know, that popularized throughout his career? I don't know, maybe he was, I'm not sure. But, you know, Phillip Rivers didn't ever remind me of a quarterback that was always, you know, given a great amount of attention. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, maybe I just didn't see the narratives enough. But, you know, the the quarterbacks that I mainly see that get all the stories are Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, you know, Russell Wilson now, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Those are pretty much the ones that I seen get all the attention. For the I said linemen. I didn't say quarterbacks. Quarterbacks are too obvious. We see them play. Lyman, you can't tell me what the left guard is doing for the Miami Dolphins, but yeah, I heard of him. Yeah, I'm going to vote him. And let me not forget about Big Ben Roethlisberger. Man, don't do that to my conversation. Acho, Acho, <laughs> hold on. Drew Brees won a Super Bowl. Once and again, that's a team MVP. accomplishment, but I'm going to let it slide. And uh Well, sure, it's a little bit of a team accomplishment, but you also have to give credit to the quarterback. The quarterback is the most valuable position. It is what it is, but when it comes down to it, you have to give Drew Brees credit for that Super Bowl. We have to count playoff success. It is what it is. We we can't just go by this, you know, bullshit narrative, you know, which has been spread a lot, especially by the Aaron Rodgers fanboys and, you know, LeBron James fanboys in basketball to where, you know, playoff success just doesn't matter when it comes down to their overall championships don't matter. No, they do matter. It is what it is. A Super Bowl MVP. He okay. has been named the Offensive Player of the Year two times. Okay. There are accolades and awards that that Philip Rivers cannot. Every name you've used, they all either have an Offensive MVP award. Uh, uh, M I agree. They have something to their name. I agree pretty much with what he's saying there. Every I, even Kurt Warner, who you know did not do it for an extremely an extreme amount of time. He has two MVPs. I'm sure with that, probably first team all pros. I would have to look it up though. Uh, you know, and he has a Super Bowl, maybe even a Super Bowl MVP, and went to three Super Bowls. So <laughs> you can't even say Philip Rivers is even in the same, uh, you know, uh, corner as Kurt Warner.
MVP of the league award, a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl MVP. None of them don't have it. Dan Fouts does. If you take the that. time to go, Four more. Dan Fouts that. is a is a two is it, to three it, time. Dan Fouts has three first team All Pros, man. He has for three first team All Pros. I believe he also has an MVP. All right. And he went to the AFC Championship through to his career. So, you know, kind of had similar playoff success in his career to Philip Rivers. But he was at a higher peak than Philip Rivers was. You know, he was at a higher peak for his time than Philip Rivers was for his. And that's just the bottom line. Two to three time all pro. And he's. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'll pull up that. No, I'm not mad. I just love that when y'all want to make this argument. When we played, everybody said six Pro Bowls or more, you in. And an now NFL we like, well, eight ain't enough year. because you didn't do anything else. <laughs> he was an NFL offense. Well, maybe once upon a time, you know, when you take a look at Joe Namath's time, <laughs> you know, maybe that was acceptable. But times have very much changed. And you're really in an era now to where you have a certain amount of these quarterbacks that are, you know, getting a certain amount of these passing yards because it's a little bit, uh, more of a passing era. So it is what it is. I mean, take a look at Matthew Stafford and Kirk Cousins, for example. Like, Kirk Cousins, you know, I don't think he's been playing for an extraordinary amount of time. He already has about 30,000 passing yards. Is he going to make the Hall of Fame if he ends up getting the 50 or 60,000? You know, uh, what about Matt Ryan? Is he a Hall of Famer? A lot of people would say that he is. In my opinion, he's not. You know, what about uh, Matthew Stafford? Matthew Stafford, I'm not even sure how many passing yards he has. I think maybe like 45,000, 50,000. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. But, you know, <laughs> is Matthew Stafford a Hall of Famer? You know? I don't think he is, but it is what it is. All love. Neither one of us. All of us. We ain't getting in, so let's stop arguing. Anyways, that's really about it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I just thought that I would talk about that. So when it comes to the conversation of Philip Rivers... I believe that he was a very good, maybe even borderline great quarterback. Same with Eli Manning, same with Matt Ryan. He's in that same class. But in my opinion, unfortunately for Phillip Rivers, that class does not make the Hall of Fame. At least certainly not on the first ballot. So it is what it is. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's really about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.